Welcome to the MQ Precision Alignment System. This smart vacuum module combines adaptive suction tech with dual axis laser guidance. It really simplifies the professional installation processes. Now, let's kick off with the key operations. Standalone operation. 1. Power management. Press and hold the power button for about 3 seconds to start up the system. If you want to completely shut it down, hold the power button for 5 seconds until all the indicator lights go off. 2. Vacuum control. When it's not attached, press and hold for 2 seconds. The white LEDs will light up one by one in sequence, like from 1 to 5, and at the same time, the suction starts working. When it's attached, press and hold for 2 seconds. Then, the LEDs will turn off in the opposite order, from 5 to 1, and that's when it releases. 3. Alert system. If there is a severe pressure loss, a red LED will light up and a buzzer will sound. To acknowledge and get rid of the alert, just give the control knob a quick press. If you frequently encounter low pressure alerts, even on regular wall surfaces, it's time to inspect the suction pad, cleaning the suction pad. If the suction pad is dirty, carefully remove it. Then, wash it thoroughly with clean water. Make sure to let it dry completely before reinstalling it. When the suction pad is damaged, worn out, or you need stronger adhesion for a broader range of surfaces, consider upgrading to the enhanced suction pad included in the accessory kit. The enhanced suction pad features a unique dual layer structure distinct from the standard pad. The inner layer, crafted from foam silicone, offers more stable support, enhancing the device's performance on various surfaces. Installation guides. Pay close attention to the orientation during installation. The solid blue side of the suction pad should face the device. This ensures a proper fit and connection. Before using the device, check that the pad is firmly and securely attached. This step is crucial to guarantee optimal performance and prevent any potential detachment during operation. By properly maintaining and upgrading your suction pad, you can ensure that your MQBO2 performs at its best and remains reliable in diverse working conditions. 4. Low Vibration Mode When you use a traditional laser level, even small vibrations can make the laser lines move in an unwanted way. To stop this from happening, click the knob three times quickly, turn on the low vibration mode on the MQBO2. Here's what it does. It cuts down on pump cycling, which helps you get stable and accurate measurements. After 10 minutes, it will automatically switch back to the standard mode. 5. Laser configuration. Turn the selector dial to change the laser's orientation. A axis. This is the main vertical direction. B axis is the secondary vertical direction. Also, you can turn the knob to turn on or off either one laser line or both laser lines at the same time. Adaptmate integration. To link up with regular laser levels, follow these steps. Line up the adaptmate and attach it magnetically. After that, make sure to check the clips on both sides to ensure they're secure. Then, use either a quarter inch mounting screw or a 5 8 inch screw adapter to mount your laser level. When you're trying to steady heavy instruments for even more accurate results, turn on the low vibration mode. M-Cube OO Ecosystem The M-Cube O2 laser level can connect seamlessly to the M-Cube OO laser measure. This connection allows you to measure level and distance at the same time and it also gives you some extra advanced measuring features. Firmware update before connection. Before you pair them up, make sure your MCube BOO has the latest firmware. The update takes about 8 to 10 minutes. Older firmware versions might not recognize the MCube O2, and that'll stop the linked functions from working. Here's how to update. 1. Open the Misa app. Check that the MCube OO is turned on and has enough battery power. 2. Use Bluetooth to find and connect to the MQBO. Tap the arrow on the right side to open the control panel. If your firmware is old, tap Update Firmware. While updating, keep your phone screen on. Make sure the Meso app stays on the front screen. Ensure both your phone and the MQBOO have sufficient battery. If the update fails, just start over and try again. Installation. Attach the MCube using the magnetic feature. Make sure the clips are fastened tightly. Power management. Both the MQBOO and MQBO2 have their own batteries. But once they're connected, power and charging work together, 
Press and hold the knob on the MQ-02 for 3 seconds to turn it on. The MQ-02 will turn on 1 to 2 seconds later. If they're not attached, both devices will go into sleep mode after 2 minutes. Calibration protocol. Proper calibration is really important for getting accurate measurements. Here are the calibration steps. 1. Place the device vertically on a stable surface. 2. Use the micro adjustments to center either of the bubble level. 3. Tap the OK button on the touchscreen to finish the calibration. Skipping calibration will limit the advanced measurement functions. Interface navigation. You can use either the rotary dial or the touchscreen to smoothly switch between different functions. Laser measurement. Initialization. Once the MQ BOO and MQ BO2 are hooked up and calibrated correctly, all you gotta do is tap the laser measurement icon and you're good to go. 1. Laser line control. Tap that green button at the bottom to take charge of the laser lines. Green, you can fire up either one of the laser lines or both of them. Gray, that means the laser switched off. 2. Measuring level and laser. Spin the base of the MQ BO2 to a vertical angle. You'll see the angle values show up at the bottom of the screen. In the middle of the screen, there's the length that the MQ has measured. It starts calculating from the center point of the MQ BO2 and lines up with the side laser line to give you super precise positioning. Just press the button on the side of the MQ BO to lock or unlock the measurement value. 3. Sending measurements to Measure app. When you're connected to the Measure app, Tap the send button down at the bottom right to send over your measurement. Press the main button on the MQ bow to lock in that measurement value. 4. Enhance precision with accessories. If you've got the accessory pack, it comes with the centimate accessory. Before you mount the MQ bow 2, use the washable centimate to line it up with the reference point on the wall. This will give you even more accurate results. Alright, let's dig into the advanced operational modes. Horizontal and Vertical Distance Measurement Initialization Stick the MQ02 onto any vertical surface and that'll kickstart the horizontal and vertical measurement mode. This feature is pretty nifty as it beefs up Pythagorean calculations by adding real time slope compensation. In this mode, the interface looks a lot like the one in laser measurement mode. Bottom left, this is where you control the laser line. Bottom center, here, you'll see the inclination angle. Bottom right, this is for sending your measurement to the Messer app. When you turn the device, the screen will show three important values all at once. Original measured length. This is the length measured right off the bat. Calculated horizontal distance. Calculated vertical distance. And remember, all these three distances are calculated starting from the center point of the M cube O2. Let's see how this function works in practice. Spin M cube O2 and line up the laser with a corner of the ceiling. At that moment, what the three values on the screen mean, the direct distance. It's the spline distance from the center of the M cube 2 to the point where the laser hits. The horizontal distance. This is the distance from the center of the M cube 2 to the wall corner in a horizontal direction. The vertical distance. It's the distance from the center of the M cube 2 up to the ceiling in a vertical direction. Once you've got the M cube 2 firmly placed on the wall, the horizontal and vertical distance mode makes it a breeze to figure out how multiple objects are positioned relative to the wall. Point to point measurement. No matter if the MQBO2 is attached to a wall, ceiling, or any other kind of surface, this function enables you to measure the straight line distance between any two spots on that surface. To get started, make sure both the MQBO0 o and MQBO2 are firmly in place and then pick the point-to-point -point measurement from the main interface. For the most accurate results, this mode uses the laser dot from the MQBO0 as a reference and the MQBO2's laser line won't be used. Step 1. Set the first point. Point the MQBO0's laser dot at the first point you want to measure. The screen will show the measured length, rotation angle, and other important data. Make sure the laser dot hit right on the edge of your target point. If there's no good reflective surface around, use the target meet accessory. Open it up and put or stick it at the target point. Line up the small center hole with the exact place you want to measure. The laser dot should land on the vertical guideline of the target mate. If you don't have a target mate, you can use any object that has a clear, reflective edge instead. Once you've got the laser in the right place, 
Press the button on the side of the MQ to lock in the measurement value. Step 2. Set the second point. Tap the next step button to move on. Turn the MQ bow to and line up the laser dot with the second point. Do the same things again. Line up the laser dot. Make sure it's in the right spot. Lock the measurement value and then tap next step to finish. Once you've marked both points, the screen will show the exact distance between them. And that's it. Your point-to-point -point measurement is done. Send a finder. No matter if the MQBO2 is attached to a wall, ceiling, or any other surface, this function comes in handy when you need to find the midpoint between any two points on that surface. For instance, say you want to position a third picture frame right in the middle of two existing ones. This function will show you how. To get started, make sure both the MQBO and MQBO2 are firmly in place. Then, pick the center finder function from the main interface. The first two steps are exactly the same as in point-to-point -point measurement. We use the laser dot of the MEQBE 00 as the reference, and the laser line of the MEQBE 02 won't be used. Step 1. Point the laser dot of the MEQBE at the first point. The screen will show the measured length, rotation, angle, and other related data. Make sure the laser dot is right on the edge of the point you're measuring. Step 2. Tap the next step button to move forward. Rotate the MEQBE 02 and line up the laser dot with the second point. Do the same things again. Line it up, measure, lock the value, and then move on. 2. Finding the midpoint. Once you've confirmed both endpoints, follow the instructions on the screen to turn the MQBO2 towards where you think the midpoint is. As the device gets closer to the center, do what the prompts tell you and line up the laser dot with a target. You can adjust the position of the target mate or a homemade marker to get the alignment just right. The system will let you know when the laser dot is exactly at the midpoint by showing an OK on the screen. Marking the midpoint. If you're using the target mate, use the marker through the hole in it to mark the midpoint. If you're using a custom made marker, line it up and mark right below the laser dot. And that's all there is to it. The center finder task is done. Now that we've gone over all the measurement features of the MQBO2, let's take a look at how you can do these functions from a distance using a smartphone. Remote Control with App The MQBO2 comes with a variety of measurement functions. However, when dealing with large-scale projects, it might not be convenient to operate the device directly from a distance. In this part, we will show you how to use the Mazer app to remotely control the MQBO2 after pairing it with the MQBO. Before you begin, ensure that your MQBO has the latest firmware. Open the Mazer app and establish a Bluetooth connection with the MQBO. Then, Tap the triangle icon adjacent to the device name to access the control panel. Once the MQBO and MQBO2 are paired, the app will automatically recognize the current module status. There are two methods to enter remote control mode. Via the Mesa app, choose remote control from the control panel. On MQBO, swipe on the screen to select remote control mode. Once activated, the app interface replicates the four measurement functions present on the MQBO2. This enables you to fully operate the device remotely with an easy-to-use interface. Within a 5-meter range, you can carry out precise measurements and directly record data from your smartphone. 